All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here on the review table, and in front of us we've got, well, what in my mind is a, an economical scope. Now, this is a little bit of a break from the norm. I know you guys are used to seeing me do like the primary arm scopes. Uh, but on occasion, we have to do some other things. So this scope was sent out to the channel by the guys over there at Optics Planet. Just a reminder, 5% uh, discount code KB32TAC. KB32TAC. Oh, yeah, 5% discount. Cover that shipping. Uh -huh. All right, so what is this thing, man? Well, this is a scope by the guys over there at Bushnell. Now, let's take a look. What do we got here? This is a 4.5 to 18 by 40. This is part of their AR Optics lineup, and this one is, let me see if I can see, if you guys can see that, this is the Wind Mill Hold Illuminated. This is a two-part series. We're going to be using this scope to test out some ammo. Again, we got some more ammo to test out in the uh, competition rifle. And I thought, what a great opportunity to take this thing out. And then we're going to take it out to the long range, and we're going to check to see how those turrets line up. Because it's a pretty cool little deal. This thing has turrets for all your major uh, calibers. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. Now, again, uh, this guy retails for like $229. Four and a half to 18. I don't know how clear the glass is. I am going to use the tactic cam so you guys can actually see it. Box comes like this. I've already opened it up. Let's take a look at it real quickly. We've got the Bushnell. This is congratulations on your new AR optics rifle scope. It comes with the power change lever. Throw down the PCL long included in the box. You got a long one and a short one. It's pretty cool. Uh, these things are actually pretty neat if you're in a competition world. I actually just ordered a uh, throw lever for the Platinum uh, 1 to 8 that I'm going to be using down there in Florida at the Nationals, USPSA Nationals. All right, so this thing comes with a bunch of different radicals. The one that we are talking about is the Illuminated Wind Hold, this guy right here. Now, pretty cool because... Um, one half mil, full mil, one half mil, full mil. So the mil dots, if you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and you've got a crosshairs, which is a pretty defined crosshair. Then you've got a, a hash mark, which means a mil, and then a half mil dot. I don't know if that dot represents a half of a mil and a hash mark and a mil. Well, anyway, if somebody says hold one mil right, you're gonna hold one mil right. If somebody says you have a mil and a half right or two mils right, usually, uh, we're going to be shooting 5.56, 55 grain, so I don't anticipate we're going to be doing a whole lot of mill holds for windage. Hopefully, man, I hope. We're going to see how far it goes out. All right, so let's take a look at it. We've got the Bushnell rifle scope. Here are directions. Let us see. And we just go ahead and put those over there. The trusted AR optics. Open it up. We got ourselves a sticker. Pretty cool. And it comes just like this, in the orange box. Now, I've opened this thing up, and the first thing that came to my mind, my mind, is that this thing is light. It's light because it comes with a one-inch tube. Most of the tubes that I work with are 30-inch or they're going to be 30-inch, uh, 30 millimeter or 34 millimeter. One inch kind of kind of feels a little weak in the hand, if you know what I mean. But in any case, uh, you're looking... Let me see. Let me just figure out what are the, what are the demographics for this scope right here. I think this is for the everyday person who wants something to put on their rifle that they can take out and have fun with. This is something that I would recommend for, say, the competition world. Um, no, no, not at all. Uh, but again, for two hundred twenty nine dollars, you're you're doing all right so far in the market. So basically, uh, the scope itself. Let's take a look at this thing. I'm going to show you exactly how much this thing weighs. Let's turn that scope thing. Uh, I've got a new set of scales here. Um, the scope itself weighs 1 pound, 3.7 ounces. That's light for a scope. Uh, one of the things we're going to do when we take it out to the field is we're going to check out the clarity. We're going to check out the accuracy of the turrets. Now, I'm not going to go put this thing on a 6.5 Creedmoor, 224 Valkyrie, 308, or... Uh, six foot, did I say six five criminal? Yeah. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put it on the five five six. And the cool thing about this guy right here is it comes with these turrets. Now, each one of these turrets has the inscribed on the inside, like this guy right here is set up for the six five Creedmoor. 
This one is set up for the 224 Valkyrie. So instead of using, say, the reticle, what it does is it the lines. Now, 65 Creedmoor and a 224 Valkyrie are really, really close. But the line sets on here are set up in yards or meters, probably, because this is a mill. And let's see if I can get these to line up. Man, I'm not very doing very good these days. So, as you can see, the further you get around, the further the distance is off. Let me do this real quickly. We'll take the, uh, this is set up for the 90 uh, grain Sierra Match Kings. This one is set up for the 130 grain. And the only bad part about that is if you are not shooting 130 grain, what do you do? So let me show you something. This is the turret that we're going to probably be using. This is 223.55 grain full metal jacket boat tail. Okay, so we're going to put this on this guy and see how it works out. But what I'm going to show you, we'll go ahead and each one of these is different. And it shows you your meters. And then as you get out further and further, you can see how they separate. 600s here, 600s there. You're going to have to turn a lot more. You're going to bottom out at 700 over here, and you bottom out at 800 here on the 6.5. Okay, so how do we change these things out? I'm assuming that they've included, here's your long swing arm, power change arm, the power change arm. Pretty cool little deal. I like that long one. Kind of kind of makes up for the thinness of this little guy right here. You know what I mean? So anyway, another nice thing is you can turn this and go like this. Okay, so you're going to take the tool that I just put down. And I'm just gonna assume, because I don't read instructions, is that we're gonna use the tools on this guy right here to change out our turrets. And we'll do that right now. Why not? We got nothing but time. Let's do it. If I can get this out. For shits and giggles, let's go ahead and just change out the elevation turret. So I'm gonna assume, not by reading the instructions, we're gonna go ahead and just do this right here. We'll loosen that up. I'm going to, yeah, there's probably three of these bad boys on here. It is labeled. You've got an up arrow right here, which is nice, and it says one click equals one-tenth of a mil. Not bad. All right, so we're going to take that off. This one is empty. It is bare. It does not have anything in it. And then we're going to take the 223 and put it on there. And I am guessing what's going to do is once you get this thing zeroed, and we're going to zero it at 100 yards. You can see the turrets. Bring that down. You're going to tighten it up, and you shoot away. There's not a whole lot of information needed other than to go ahead and laser the target, or if you have a known distance or you're shooting at a range that has 100, 200, 300-yard targets, this thing's going to get you hopefully on board with that. So we'll find out here probably tomorrow. And again, like I said, if we can get out to 500 yards with a 16-inch barrel, 5.56, 55 grain, yeah, we're doing real damn good. And if I can hit that with this, then I would say this is a very, well, we're missing a screw. Maybe I take a screw out of this guy and put it in there. You have spare screws. That's good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in. Hopefully that goes in there. It's going to mess up our whole day if not. There we go. Yep. Tighten that down. The turrets are pretty tactile. I like that. Tactile click tile. And I like the way they have up and down on the face of the turret. It's facing you. So if I know I need to go up, I go that way, down this way. Also, you have left and right here. These do not collapse. They're not lockable. The parallax goes from seven to infinity as, uh, let's go, 25, 50, 75, 100, 200, 500 to infinity. It has, in here is your illumination knob. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. Pull that tape. We've got a Panasonic, a CR2032 battery. Go ahead and pop that in there. You guys will be able to see it, uh, how bright it is out there when we put the tactic cam on it. I'm actually going to go ahead and set the tactic cam up on it tonight 
so that it's ready to go so when we get out to the range we'll be able to get her going let's see here i'm gonna turn it on there are off switches off settings between each of the settings it goes from one to six and i'm just looking through it right now if i can show this to you maybe we'll be able to pick it up on the camera And it just has an illuminated crosshair in the middle of it. Okay, so from the front to back, or to, from the back to the front, ocular is a rubber coating right here. These are coated lenses. They say that the scope is waterproof. I don't think you're going to have to worry about somebody who's using this or somebody who's going to buy this is not going to go swimming with it. With my vision, I always have to back that ocular out. And one of my concerns is on an economical scope like this is that do you have any movement? Very nicely done. They do not have any movement on here. Here is your zoom ring, 18 down to 4.5. If you don't want to do it, use the throw lever. You can just use that with your grip right here, which is nice. Watch out that that doesn't loosen up on you. Again, that one inch tube uh, doesn't really allow for it to do a whole lot of travel. I'm not worried about the tracking on this thing. Uh, I've watched a couple of videos, it tracks pretty well. I'm not concerned about that. What we want to do, again, is we want to take that turret from 100 to 200 to 50, 300, 350, 400, 450. I like that they have the increments in 450, 550, 400, or 600, 650. So, interestingly enough, we'll set some 10-inch steels out there, and we'll also put some uh, USPSA targets out. So, give it a little leeway to see how it does. And uh, we'll see how it hits at uh, 100 yards. But in any case, guys, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, the knobs are pretty nice on this. The clicks are audible as well as they are tactile. You can film very nicely. Uh, and we'll see exactly how clear that glass is when we go out there. But uh, that's it. This is the box opening first impressions of the Bushnell AR Optics. This is their windmill illuminated with the interchangeable turrets. And I say, uh, you know, you're, you're not taking this out and you're not trying to compare it to a $1,000 optic or even a $500 optic, but as $229 optics goes, it's got a lot of features and a lot of options. Ooh, cleaning cloth. Let's go to boy 32. Guys, if you like this video, how about give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. And don't go out and do stupid shit. Let's go to Boy 32. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and all that other jazz. <laughs> anyway, you guys be good. Take care. Have a great evening.